message like we do it with a question. There are mainly four language skills, listening, speaking, reading and writing. Right. Right. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. Right. What are the expressional skills? How do we express? By speaking and by writing. What are the receptive skills? By reading and by listening. By reading also you extract the meaning. By listening also you extract the meaning. Now what do you do here? You are doing two things. Many people I have seen they are saying that speaking is communication. Right. But communication includes all the four. You have to express by using speaking or writing. You have to encode the message. You have to put the message. Right. The message is there. The channels you are using, the medium you are using. Decoding the message means who will decode the message? The receiver will decode the message. Then the receiver will do feedback. Feedback in terms of response, facial expression, and even the result. Right? So that's the simple model. One, channel one communication. Channel and reverse model of 1945 one communication. Right? So understood up to date? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. The elements that we are in need to into communication is sender, receiver, medium. Don't you think that message is the, is the most important in communication? Message is must, sender is must, medium is must. You must use some medium like movement, gesture, body language, walking movement or something. Or uh, a kind of a device. I am going to use this device. This is also medium to communicate. Right? Then what else is required in communication? Environment, very good. What is required in communication? Environment. You have to create an environment. Yes, then, then context, very good. It has to be at certain context, right? Context to your communication. So not be like that, whatever comes to your mind, you must think out. Very good. Then what else is required? Sender, receiver, message, goal, then environment, then what else is required? Language, the words, vocabulary, content structure, right? Then what? Yeah, medium. Medium of instruction, medium of time, right? Very good. Then feedback. Feedback is also needed. You must learn uh, not just to communicate but also to respond to somebody, right? That is also communication. I'm speaking. If your response is such, I may not be, you know, able to communicate. Okay? I may not be happy. So response is also that. In one book, I'll suggest you one book, Developing Communication Skills, book, you may note it down this. Developing Communication Skills, uh, this book is written by uh, Nikhil Joshi. Uh, this book will help you to understand uh, the communication, the barriers, seven seas in communication, and uh, you know the task on communication skills are also given there in that particular book. So at home you can practice for the task, right? So that is also possible. That is also you can do it. We are going to talk about seven C in the communication. Seven C in the communication. That is also explained in that particular book. Now when you communicate, you require seven C. Now what are those seven C? First one is first one is completeness. Don't you think that your communication should be complete in terms of your sentence, your intonation pattern, the articulation? So first one is completeness. You may write it down. First one is completeness. Second one is consideration. Right? Consider. When you communicate, make sure others the listeners consider you. Then what? Completeness, consideration, then can you you can also guess some words. You must have played a game on put on you know collecting words on alphabet A, alphabet B. Here we are talking about communication and on C you have to give me some more words. Clarity. Then this is third. Uh, context. Context. Yes. Then Concerned, right? When you communicate, you have to be concerned to others, right? 
Suppose your teacher keeps on talking, talking, talking and not concerned about your, uh, you know, your endurance, your problem solvers and keep on doing then what would happen, she will not be able to communicate to you, alright, so that's one. So, complete, consider, concise, it should be concise, you should not elaborate much. Clarity, then, then, concrete, it should be concrete, okay, then what? Then, give me some more words, think and give me. Curiosity. Very good, curiosity. When you communicate, you should be curious to listen as well as to speak. Okay, in saying as well as in responding to that. Okay, then, <coughs> courtesy, right? You have to be courteous while talking, while communicating. So, let's recall all the words that you have listed. Completeness, consideration, concise, Clarity, contextual, curiosity, then concrete, very good, concrete, then curiosity we have listed, then correct, correct, right, should be correct. Is that clear to you? Fine. So, what have we done here? We have understood the concept of communication by using that particular activity that we have to be very much careful by using the language for accuracy, fluency, intonation pattern, in and context, we have to create such environment. Then we have also understood the seven reverse models, the word, the, the latent word, communico <coughs> and communicare. We have also talked about seven C's, right? Now we will be doing one more activity on communication. Now what we are going to do in this particular activity, <coughs> the cards are prepared. Right. So one situation is there, for example, a uh, shopkeeper is there or uh, let's take an example of a, uh, of a conductor and a passenger. Right. They are talking to each other. So such kinds of situations are prepared. Here the dialogues are given. Uh, you have to just use these clues and you have to speak. Is that clear to you? Fine. <coughs> we will be taking two or three conversations. You will not be given time to write the dialogues. You have to speak the dialogues on your own. You want to speak them. Students. 